What's up guys, Thomas back with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, whoops, turns out it's actually Wednesday and uh, not Tuesday. It took a little bit longer than I did this video, so um, happy Tech Tip Wednesday. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use a multimeter to make sure you're tapping to the right wire when you're making lighting modifications. Now knowing how to find the right wire to tap into when you're installing some cool new lights is really important. Now when I make how to uh, install videos and I show you that you need to tap into this wire and it's right here and it's this color, I can't always guarantee that it's going to be the same against all FRS BRZs and 8.6s across all years. Like our 2017 8.6 may not be the same color as like a 2013 BRZ. Can't guarantee that. Can't look at all the colors of the wiring harnesses. So it's really important to get a multimeter and know how to use it and double check before you tap into the wrong wire. Now with the basics of electricity, that tells us we've got volts, amps, and resistance, which is measured in ohms. Now if you use the analogy of like water coming out of a hose, volts will be the pressure of the water coming out of that hose. Amps is gonna be the flow rate of how much water is coming out of the hose, and then ohms or resistance is gonna be the size or diameter of that hose. Now there's a ton of different stuff that this multimeter can do, but we're just gonna be focusing on volts. So let me show you how we uh, set this up to read volts. All right, so here is our multimeter. We're gonna take our black lead and put it in this. This says comms right there. Then if you wanna measure amps, you'd put the red lead over here, but we're gonna be doing volts, and this is the same one you'd use for resistance, so we're gonna put that in there. For uh, direct uh, voltage, we're gonna be using this one right here. This is the volt with a line and a dash line underneath it. That's the one that we're gonna use. Now another option to the multimeter is this very simple circuit tester. You've got a little lead at the bottom, connect that to a ground, and if this completes the circuit, this little prong here, then a little light, an LED in the handle will light up, and that's really simple. I like this when it's, I need something really quick and easy, and I can also use this with one hand. However, this is gonna be a lot more precise if you need specific measurements. Now to test the very basics of this voltmeter, we're gonna test it out on our battery, which is gonna be about 12-ish volts, 12 point nine now we've had this on the charger so it's going to be slowly decreasing but if we put it back on the charger you'll watch it go back up there we go 13 going straight up now here's our fd6 speed factory sequential headlights but obviously it's not this is not sequential this is the drl that's flashing instead of the turn signal these are they're flipped they're backwards and that's what happens when you install our headlights on a 2017 or newer 86 it's just the finicky wiring it's just everything's kind of different between models but this is really easy to fix if you have a multimeter you, you'll disconnect the harness and then you'll stick your multimeter negatively to the ground in the engine bay which is easy to find and then with the positive one the the red one you're going to tap and touch each little pin the constant on uh, drl is going to read a steady 12 volts and then when you find the uh, turn signal that one's going to be flashing it might actually be flashing too fast for the voltmeter the to, to read how much the volts are, but you can see it's still flashing on the multimeter. All you'd have to do is take a small pin and then de-pin those harnesses and um, switch them around and boom, they're fixed. Now we use this exact same process of finding which wire was the turn signal wire when we had to tap into those when we installed the Intec Fender Garnish turn signals. And when we installed the Valenti sequential fourth brake light, we needed to supply it with a brake light signal wire from the tail light. So with the brake pedal depressed and we used the circuit tester, we touched each pin until one lit up and that was our signal wire for the brake. So we just tapped into it and the rest is history. Now these tools can do a bunch of stuff. Those are just a few examples. If you have a multimeter, you can check fuses and light bulbs to see if they've blown, if you can't visually check. Um, this one's a lot more precise, gonna do a lot more. This one's really simple and easy and idiot, idiot proof. So I like this one a lot. Now, if this was a refresher course for you, you already knew all this stuff, then that's good. But maybe there's a couple people out there or a lot of people out there that are really unsure about like touching the wires of their car. Maybe just seeing how this stuff was done will maybe make them more comfortable of actually doing it themselves because it's pretty easy and a lot of you can do it all at home. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to send us an email at sales at FTA6speedfactory.com and we'll see you guys next week in the next video. Headlight harness, when we installed the Intec Fender, the Fender Intec turn signal housing garnish thing. Intec Fender garnish turn signals. And for the Intec turn signal Fender garnishes, Okay. Whew.